Hello and welcome to The Little Simple Life, a podcast about living your most intentional, inspiring life. I'm Amy, 30-something mum of two, living just outside London. These podcasts are love notes from me, sharing the things I know I would want and sometimes need to hear. In these episodes, I'm going to delve into what it means to walk a different path, from educating our children outside the school system, to living in a small home by choice, surrounding ourselves with a life of intention instead of living a life of default. I welcome you to come on this journey with me, to open your heart and mind to a different way of living. I hope you find what you are looking for with the words of these podcasts, and I hope they speak to you in your own unique way. Welcome to today's episode and today I'm going to talk about my balcony. Wait, stay with me, it's going to be more exciting than that. Living in a small home by choice, living in a split level flat, always baffles everyone. It baffles everybody that this is enough for me, that this is enough for us and for our family. We don't have a garden but we do have an allotment. And I'm gonna talk about that in another episode. Today, I want to talk about my balcony and how you can live, learn and grow in a small space. So we have lived in our home for five years now. And basically since the beginning, I had grand plans for my balcony. Last year in 2021, I renovated our outdoor space for the second time and just made it more suitable for children. So we live in a split level flat and we have a good sized balcony and I think it was one of the first things that I renovated when we moved in five years ago. There's priorities for you. When we first moved in it was a complete blank canvas, concrete floor, metal railings and it looked so dull and boring but It had so much potential. Before moving into this home, we had spent a year living in a ground floor flat and we had a beautiful river right on our doorstep. But there was something amazing about having this own little bit of outdoor space. We were lucky that the rest of our home was pretty much ready to go in terms of needing anything major done. One of the most things I was eager to undertake was creating this little bit of paradise on our balcony. It's funny because since I've done so much around our home, so when I say I thought it was ready to go, it wasn't really. But back to the balcony. I was really keen to make this a little haven outside. And when we first renovated it, well, we, it was me. When I first renovated it back in 2017, I spent a lot of time on Pinterest browsing cute balcony ideas. I wanted to brighten it up and make it look more like a miniature garden than this drab grey balcony. So I got to work. It was quite affordable. So whether you have a small balcony area or a small garden or you're just looking for some affordable options, uh, there are definitely ways that you can take a boring dull balcony into a beautiful little garden space. So the first thing that I sorted was the flooring. And because I wanted to make it this cutesy little garden space, I went for two different types of flooring. Now, bear in mind, I live three floors up. So the only option for me, if I wanted something grass-like, was to purchase some fake grass. I know plastic isn't great, but it should last us forever. At the other end, I opted for some clipped together decking slats. They're very simple. You can get them from Ikea, um, Amazon, places like that. And they made a nice little patio area. Now, the one thing I will say about this is because there is concrete underneath and through the winter months, they get quite wet. The rubber underneath does degrade over time. So that's something that I have recently removed. Also, Now we have children uh, that run around out there 
I wanted it to be nice and soft and not have the decking. So we've actually added some more grass and have grassed the entire lot. The railings of our balcony are like an iron black. They're very dull. So a really simple and affordable way of changing that and taking the focus away from this ugly looking metal railing was just picking up some privacy fencing. It's like that bamboo reed fencing that just unrolls and I cable tied it against the railings and it looks really good. It's been up now for, this will be its sixth summer and it's still looking as good as it ever did. Like I said, with a growing toddler and a baby, we wanted to update the space from the space we originally created back in 2017. I wanted to ensure that this was a safe space where the little ones can be outside and especially through the pandemic, regardless of what is happening in the outside world, this became even more important. I wanted a space that worked for us as a family, but I also wanted it to be safe. If you live in a flat and have a balcony, you will know you have worries. Uh, we also have an indoor cat, but she does like a little bit of relaxation out in the sunshine. So I wanted to make sure that she was safe as well. We're passionate about growing our own produce and now we have the allotment but the balcony is still a wonderful growing space and even though the allotment exists now we still plan to do a lot of growing on our balcony too. We've been growing here since we moved in and it is perfect. So how do you create a wonderful little outdoor space on a balcony that's suitable for little ones, great for a cat, good for the family and that you can grow on? It's a lot to ask from a four meter balcony, right? I started to think about the ways in which I could create this outdoor space that our children could use safely. They could use it for an abundance of time outside for the times that we aren't out exploring nature. A place my daughter would be able to spend her time playing as at the time I was at the end of my pregnancy and wasn't quite as mobile as I usually am. I also wanted it to be a nice space for those summer days when I had a newborn. I wanted it to be a place where they can both grow as they grow. One of the things we added to the space was a mud kitchen, which we bought for my daughter's second birthday. And I'm sure it will get ample use throughout the years. I'm actually thinking of purchasing a second one that we can take to the allotment. So we'll see. I pulled up the old wooden flooring and we started from scratch, adding artificial grass across the entire length of the balcony. And so that made it a nice grassed garden, which is perfect for children to play in. We kept the privacy fence in and we added some privacy trellis and I added some fake ivy on the top of it just for an extra level of privacy. And it is wonderful. It was particularly good last summer when I was outside breastfeeding. <laughs> we aren't really overlooked. We live at the end of our building. So really we only need privacy from one side, but this also added an extra layer of height, which is important when you have small people. Obviously being high up, we have the worry of safety. So what we decided to do was add some secure safety netting. Our daughter is never left unattended outside and our son won't be either when he's on the move, obviously. But just knowing the netting is there means we are much more relaxed when we are out there. Having the indoor cat who does enjoy sunbathing, we wanted to ensure she was safe too. She often tends to try and jump up on the balcony if she's outside. So this netting is just a great way to ensure that the whole family is safe. It's connected all the way around. I know how to take it down if necessary, but it's not something the children would be able to do themselves. We also wanted a space which worked for us. Although we don't have a lot of free time, just the two of us to be outside, we wanted to ensure the space was just as adult friendly as it was child friendly. So that meant when we added the netting, we made sure it had the height so it was easy for us to walk out as well. We also added lots of things like floor cushions. We have blankets that we can use out there. We've opted to put away our garden furniture and actually that will now come with us to the new allotment instead. The reason being, I want as little as possible out there that small people can climb on. While the space is safe and well secured, I just don't want people climbing up there. Like I said, we're really passionate about growing our own food and produce. And now we have the allotment, we're really excited about what this growing season will look like for us. 
but we also love growing on our balcony too and have grown produce here every single year since we moved in. Lettuce and strawberries have always been a firm favourite and they're great to grow up here. Last year I thought I would take some time off growing because I had the baby due in late May. I thought that I should probably give myself a rest and a chance to relax and not have too much to worry about. So what did I do instead? Well, I bought a small greenhouse, more seeds and pots than I ever have and decided to grow more than I have ever have in the whole time we've been here. That does sound like me, actually. So I purchased a small greenhouse from Wilco's and we put it at the opposite end of the mud kitchen and we created a little growing space for me, but also that my daughter had so much fun helping me with too. I'm so overjoyed how it turned out. It is created a beautiful space that really does suit the needs of our entire family and is our little oasis of calm in what is often a crazy world. Over the winter our balcony always looks so sad but it's coming to that time of year where the days will start getting a little warmer soon and I'll be able to head outside and clear up from winter. We had the netting down over the winter so that will need to be re-put up. I need to just clean off the grass empty out the greenhouse, wipe down the mud kitchen and be ready to start our new season of growing. I'm so excited for growing this year with the balcony and the allotment. It's going to be wonderful. Growing on the balcony actually has surprised me. I am a radical. I will try anything. And last season I grew some incredible stuff. I grew my strawberries, which I've grown every year since I've been here. We had tomatoes, we did lettuce, we did beetroot, we did carrots that didn't quite take, we did different types of peppers, we had sweet pepper, we had banana peppers and we had red hot chilli peppers which were really hot. We did radishes, we did rocket, all of these things absolutely thrived on our balcony. So if you only have a small space, you can still create a wonderful wonderful little garden I didn't do anything special or anything radical I grew in my little greenhouse which by the way they're perfect for balconies now I have a little pro tip here because those small greenhouses the ones that have the plastic over them they can only really be connected at the bottom there's no way to connect them to the top we live quite high up we also live up a hill at the top of the valley so it can get pretty windy through the winter here um, and the spring and I was constantly running outside in my flip-flops with my foam torch just checking that everything was still upright and standing. A great pro tip for weighting down your greenhouse is unused weights. I had two two kilo like home exercise weights and I used them on the bottom of the greenhouse and just rested them on the bottom bar and I connected it at the bottom to the greenhouse and it stayed up it didn't fall over because the last thing I want is to plant all these seeds and have them end up on the floor whatever space you have you can create a beautiful little garden you can grow your own produce Thank you so much for listening to today's episode. I hope you found it really useful in creating a beautiful space outdoors, whatever space you have. Thank you again so much for listening and I will catch you in my next one.